please do not try this at home. This is for soft, pornographic purposes only. This was a dream. It was a perfect, heavenly fall day. Something was in the air. For months upon months, we'd been going alone to the same park at the same time, 7 a.m. every morning to escape ourselves. I had become obsessed with this stranger a long time ago. And I knew he felt the same way. I had only ever seen his eyes. I had to know more. Who was he? Today was the day to finally make my move. I was free. So was he. I got my test results last night. I was clean. I was ready. I was applying hand sanitizer all over my hands, dousing my hands as if to say, you're dirty. He saw me approaching and he knew what to do. He covered his hands in hand sanitizer and began to rub his hands together rhythmically, intentionally, thoroughly, as if to say, I want you to. Oh my God, I felt like an animal. This is sex. The heat of my breath began to rise and rise, fogging my glasses. I couldn't see, and I didn't care. His nose bulging under his cotton mask. The white fabric gripped his schnoz, pulsating with every breath. I could tell his nostrils were powerful, hot, breathy, making his mask puff up and down. I was mesmerized by his tidy whitey. What was underneath? Shaking, I introduced myself. He couldn't hear me underneath my mask. So I had to start yelling, are you clean? He showed me his results. Like a tantric twist of fate, he was clean too. He was ready. Whip it out. He reached for his belt. No. Your nose. Here, let me just help you. I gently removed his mask, revealing one nostril at a time. His nostrils were huge, gaping, cavernous. His nose hot, sweaty. It was even better than I could have imagined. I started my striptease. My nostrils were on fire. He loved what he saw and he showed it. We just got each other. I doused his face in hand sanitizer just to be safe. And then he reciprocated too. This is euphoria. Wow, this is sex. I am sex. This was the hottest dream of my life, but I knew we had already gone too far. It was time to say goodbye. We never saw each other again, but I know we'll never forget it.